Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hanam Pawana Sapakna. Close your eyes and see if you can feel your breath. Where do you feel the breath? Can you feel the breath all the way in? <coughs> can you feel it all the way out? Watch it for a while. It's by watching things continually that we learn about them. If you just glance a bit and look away, you haven't really learned much. So you have to look again and again and again. What's there to learn from the breath? Well, to begin with, the breath is the force of your life. Without the breath, you'd be dead. And so you want to see what is this force doing to your body right now? What is it doing to your mind? Because if this is what's keeping you alive, you want to make sure that the force is a good force. Does it feel good? Does it feel nourishing? Does it feel healthy in the body? Or does it feel tight and constricted? If it feels constricted, think of it getting broader. The whole body breathing in, the whole body breathing out. This is something right, right next to you that you can take advantage of. All too often we look at other things out in the world, and we don't pay attention to, one, what we're doing, or two, the things that are right nearby us. So take some time to look at what's right nearby. You've got the breath coming in, going out, and you've got the mind thinking about all kinds of things. Now, sometimes it's thinking is useful, and sometimes it's not. It's like those squirrels over there right now. They got a little startled a bit, a bit back, and so now they're just chirp, 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 chirping away. Not accomplishing anything at all. But they just keep doing it again and again and again. And our mind is like that. Sometimes someone says something and has us upset for hours afterwards. We just go over again and again and again what the person said. And it doesn't accomplish anything more than the chirping of the squirrels. As long as you've got a mind that can think, make it think about things that are useful. Right now, thinking about the breath is a useful thing, because the breath, as I said, is the force of your life. So you want to make sure that that force is doing good things to the body, doing good things to the mind. Make this the place where your mind rests, when you see that it's thinking about things that are totally useless, or things that are getting you upset. We have to take good care of our mind, you know, otherwise things begin to break down. If we just think, 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 think all the time. You get tired out. It's like a, an engine that you just keep running. It's like having your car engine running all the time. You say, well, I don't know when I'm going to need it, but I want to know when I jump in, I can just go right off. So it keeps running, running, running there, even though it's sitting there doing nothing, accomplishing nothing. The time comes, okay, we've thought about things that are useful, then you turn it off. In other words, you let it rest with the breath. That doesn't mean you don't know anything. It simply means that you've given a place where you can rest. and. Regain your strength. This way, when you need to use the mind, it's in good shape. Compare it to a knife. If you sharpen the knife, okay, then when you need to cut something, that's it's right there. It's sharp. But if you keep just using, using, using the knife without ever sharpening it, it gets dull after a while. Then you can't cut through anything. So make sure the mind has a place where it can rest, and let it rest there. And leave there only when you've got something really important, something really worthwhile to think about. There are people out there in the world to tell us how to take care of our bodies. Well, we also have to learn how to take care of our minds. In fact, that this is much more important than the body. So pay it careful attention. <laughs>